Hi, good morning. Today we will learn about a three position, three port spring centered hand operated spool. Uh, these type of uh, spools are used in hydraulic circuits. There are different type of spools. So let's uh, go and learn it first. Before, uh, before that let's uh, see why it is actually called as three position, three port spring centered and hand operated. So here you can see these three sections are there. This is the first section or here this one so this is one this is the second section so this is two here this is the third section so this is three that's why it is called as three position it has three ports each section is having three ports you can count it like one two three one two three one two three so it's called three port and it is spring center it is spring centered spool and hand operated so this is the symbol for hand operation so it's a hand operated one that's why how uh, this name actually comes in uh, for spools so there will be four positions if there is one more position <coughs> this can be called as a four position spool okay let's identify uh, the components over here so here we have the pump the hydraulic pump over here here there is a knot run valve over here this is our actuator or the uh, hydraulic pump. so this is a neutral line so this is the position uh, of our spool initially which is a neutral position so the oil is coming from the pump like this so it is oil is coming through the pump it travels like this over here as it is connected here the oil will travel to both these lines it comes through this line over here this is actually showing the pathway this line is showing the pathway for the spool to move so this line connects here this line connects here and here it connects here okay it travels like this and comes over here and goes through the neutral line towards the next spool or towards the tank so that's a neutral line this line the flow splits here and comes and hits over here this is closed position so actually there won't be any flow at this section so that's how in this position uh, this spool will be operating so I have uh, made a spool illustration over here this is the same as of the spool over here so what happens is that at this position if you look at as I have explained the oil will travel through this line like this and goes towards the tank or the neutral line or here it becomes blocked now what I do is I move this lever so that the spool can be moved so I'm moving the lever in this direction so you can see this was my spool so I slowly move this towards this section now here it comes here this section comes over here so the oil comes in this uh, pathway or uh, through this line and comes here as it is blocked over here the oil is stopped at this position and it travels through this line it hits on this one way valve and this one way valve opens up so the oil comes like this and travels through this line and comes through this line and it does here as it is cross connected the trials in this line and comes and enters this circuit so here you can see it comes here travels in this pathway and enters here so this is the rod side of our hydraulic ramp so here we have the oil and that oil exert a pressure on the rod side piston okay and the piston moves in this direction so this is our hydraulic ram so the hydraulic ram moves in this direction and the oil escapes through this line comes here hits here travels crosses over and this line actually go back towards the tank so this is the return line go back towards the tank so this is this position actually the flow will be in this fashion and the ram will be moving in the forward position okay now what i do I am operating this bolt in the reverse direction so now let's reverse the direction okay so the spools will be moving in the opposite direction okay this was the position now change to here this is already explained initially this is a neutral position so again it goes towards the final position that the last third position we have so in this position what happens let's see the oil comes like this hits here it is already closed at this section so the oil again comes back and travels through this line 
the one where respect rock maps and the oil will travel and it does this line this is a straight line so oil travels like this okay let's rub this out from here okay so our oil travels like this and enters here this line over here so it comes like this and it gets into the head side of the hydraulic ram so it gets into the head side of the hydraulic ram and exerts the pressure on the pistons head side and it will be moving in the backward direction so here the piston and the piston rod will move in the reverse direction as of earlier in the backward direction so the oil escapes through this line comes here moves down and travels through this line okay and returns to the tank same so this is how uh, a three position three port spring center spool works these are the three positions here it is in neutral when we move it towards this line the lines the hydraulic flow will match in such a fashion that the hydraulic ramps will be moving forward direction and when the third position is selected the hydraulic ram will move in reverse direction as these lines match each other so that's how exactly uh, a spool works uh, there can be many number of positions and many number of ports for this spool so as it moves each of these lines matches each other and the flow will be directed in such a fashion as per the design so i believe you uh, got a uh, basic idea about its function if you like this video please click the like button or do drop a comment if you have any doubt also you can drop a comment we will respond to that and also you can click the subscribe button on top of this video so that when we upload new technical videos uh, it will be coming to your email and thanks for watching this video have a great day